好的。And I'd actually like to take a step for a few weeks back to a trip that me and my friend John, who's also a student at NC State, we took a trip to the city of Guangzhou, which is in mainland China, about an hour north of here by train. Really good trip. Um, took about three nights in the actual city, and then we took another day, about half a day, to spend in Macau. I'll give a little bit of my thoughts, kind of like our thoughts on the trip and uh, some of the things we saw. It's pretty neat. So also I am feeling a little sick, so if I kind of sound a little weird, that's kind of it. But yeah, the city of Guangzhou in, I guess regards it, I'd never seen a city in mainland China before. So actually seeing a real city like that for the first time was very interesting. It seemed the government did play like an influence in certain parts of the city, knowing that you're in that sort of government system is a, a bit different. Me and John had a little bit of a difficult time because no one spoke any English. So we had to kind of use Google Translate to even just talk to people about food or even when we were getting our train ticket, basically crossed our fingers because we didn't know if where we were going was the right place. Just really hope for the best, but it all worked out. We saw some of the bigger sites in Guangzhou, didn't get to spend a lot of time, but we did see kind of like the main stuff. Saw the Canton Tower, which was, I guess, like their memorable icon. Huge tower, like 600 meters, which is ridiculous. <laughs> It's actually the fourth tallest structure in the world, which you wouldn't think you'd be in some city in mainland China, but we also took a trip down the Pearl River, which kind of zigzags through kind of the middle of the city at night, so we got to see a lot of the cool stuff on the water. We went to another mountain near the city. <laughs> That was interesting because it gave you a good perspective of kind of the density of kind of the city center, but then also outside the city, like a bunch of smog. Like that was the first time I'd ever seen like smog, like over a city. So that was another part that I'd never really experienced before about Guangzhou. We went to this like island on in between the river. It was kind of separated by the Pearl River, and it has a lot of European influence, which was kind of odd. 
seeing different parts of the culture being influenced there. It's also kind of neat. The tower is kind of like the last thing we were doing uh, the last night we were there. And it's kind of sad because it seemed like that was probably one of our least favorite things to do that kind of tease you into getting like the bigger package. Only did like the cheap one, but we were like inside this like glass enclosure and there were lights on like inside. So like Pringles, you couldn't even really like see the city that well because it was like glaring lights on the windows and the windows weren't even that clean. Like some of the stuff we enjoyed was like, you know, the natural aspects of the city and not like the massive things that like are really highlighted um, by the government and by the tourist organizations. So kind of puts stuff in perspective that maybe everything that it really isn't necessarily the best parts. I think you have to go and find the smaller communities of the city. And I kind of enjoyed walking around the older, more, a little bit more run down parts because I think that really shows what the city is not the massive tower and the few big buildings in Newtown, but it's the smaller cities, it's the smaller shops, it's the temples, it's the everyday people that make up the city. Going to Macau was also a cool experience. Like Macau's known for the massive casinos that are kind of in like the downtown center area. And those are really neat looking and they're flashy, a lot of lights. So the hotels are just extravagant, but like most of the city again is like this kind of smaller, um, a little bit more rough looking shop district with little businesses and stuff does also have some European influence, a little bit of Filipino influence. So seeing that kind of mixed with like the Chinese culture was pretty interesting. There are even a few views where you could see like through kind of the smaller like rundown buildings to like the massive casino. It's like massive casino isn't really all of Macau. It's mostly the smaller buildings, the smaller shops, smaller areas, the different people that are going there. But taking a step back and seeing that was influential me and John, how it's not all the flashy bells and whistles, even though those are there, that's not really what makes up the culture. It's much different. I think that's something we really took away from the trip. So thanks for watching. Till next time.